The official UCS Republic gunship images come out tomorrow. We get, take a good look at the new advent calendar set coming out in 2021 and more here on the Republic Stud Show. Hello everyone, it is I, Republic Studs, and welcome back to the Republic Stud. So first off, welcome to the new studio. This is a new camera. Everything's very exciting. And before we get into all of the news, I'm going to ask you all to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It'll help get the content out to loads of people, help me out a ton. And also, I'm going to ask you all to become a member of Studs Plus, where you can get access to loads of exclusive content from my six-part workshop series on how to grow a LEGO Star Wars YouTube channel, to loads of other exclusive stuff. We're running a giveaway right now, and some other just fun things. It'll only be $5 a month, and it will help out the channel a ton, help with all the improvements we've been making. And yeah, but with that said, Let's get right on into the video. Eminarja Productions just put out this tweet, uh, and I posted this on my Instagram, and you know, it's been kind of a, a description for what's going on with the UCS gunship. So LEGO Star Wars UCS gunship, Mace Windu, and a yellow Phase 1 clone. So it is not going to be a, um, you know, red captain as we once thought, it's going to be the commander clone, uh, the Phase 1 clone, which, you know, he's like, boo, that sucks. Um... So that stinks, and uh, people are saying, you know, maybe there's a possibility that it will be a pilot, I know for certain it isn't. I, 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 it isn't going to be that. So don't get your hopes up too much. Um, it has been seen. I, I, you know, I'm gonna make a stretch and say land members do have the product in hand uh, right now, and it's probably gonna be like released tomorrow. And based if you're gonna correlate it with other times that other things have been released, it's gonna be around 9 a.m. You're gonna see everyone drop it. I'm gonna be very close after, so make sure to watch mine uh, when it comes out tomorrow. Uh, and, you know, I'm recording this like a day ahead, but anyway. Uh, so, Ryan's is big. Very big. Like, this thing is going to be huge. Um, if I had to think of something to compare it to, maybe you can compare it to maybe the size of the UCS Falcon. I guess that's what they're going to go for. It's not going to be as long as the Star Destroyer. But I imagine since it is a very, like, thin model towards the bottom, there's not a lot of weightiness. They're going to make it, like, ginormous. Um, which is very exciting, obviously. I'm very excited for that. Uh, you know, he says, Awesome. Uh, no, not for the minifigs. You're not getting the set for minifigures. You know, we kind of knew that going into this, sadly. Odd box shape. Um, so, so I don't know what this means. Like, some people are saying, oh, it'll be in the shape of the, the Mario boxes. And I know, you know, I've talked to some friends who I think have seen it, or who have, who have seen it, and, uh, they're, they can't say much. Um, but yeah, it is a weird box, so people are saying it's gonna look like Mario sets. I'm not sure. I'm gonna just gonna, you know, kind of have a mental image, and then maybe we'll wait and see. I'm really excited to see how they're gonna do it. Uh, and then, of course, Lego, the, the, the Imperial logo is on the box art, uh, which is something interesting. Um, now this, and, and for, as far as I am aware, there is a mistake on the box, uh, but in the form of this Imperial logo, uh, which is kind of funny. Uh, you know, I'm sure that will get corrected, but you know, the first, like, edition that has the Imperial logo on the box, I'm sure we'll get, like, exclusive, like, that'll be a little more coveted. Um, and it comes out Thursday, uh, which is tomorrow as of the time this video uploads, which is very exciting. Now, there is so much to look forward to with this UCS Republic gunship. I'm very, very excited. This one's going to be awesome. Honestly, probably one of the most anticipated sets of the year, if not like the decade, other than maybe the Final First Battle Pack, but th this one's very exciting. You know, this was a big fan vote, and I wouldn't be shocked after they announced this. Uh, you know, we're probably going to see... The UCS ATAT -AT pop-up. That's going to be the next one we have our eyes on. And yeah, so that is our news regarding the UCS Republic gunship. Now, next up, let's talk about the advent calendar. Hello, everyone. So it is, I, I am back. This is after I was editing. Uh, Lego sent out an email to everyone who voted for the UCS Republic gunship, including me. Uh, and, and in this email, it states, hey, ba ba basically, you voted for the gunship. We wanted to give you a little sneaky peeky. Uh, this is the first picture we've ever seen of it, uh, and and yeah, so, so this thing looks insane. They've been keeping this under wraps really good. Wow, this thing is friggin' huge. I am so excited. It's coming out August 1st, by the way. We do have that date, um, which is going to make that a very expensive day for me. Uh, oh boy. Um, but yeah, so anyway, it, it just looks sick. Tell me what you think of it down below. Now let's get into the next bit of news. So this was not covered a lot by a lot most LEGO YouTubers, mainly because it wasn't, you know, anything that extremely exciting. It's just an advent calendar, which people won't get too excited about, but I'll be showing the pictures here in this news roundup video. Um, so you get the nice box art. It is entirely Mandalorian themed. In fact, this is the first advent calendar in a long time that has not come with 
a B1 battle droid, which is mildly disappointing. I mean, you could have put at least a super battle droid in here. Um, you know, they were in the Mandalorian Season 1. So let's take a look at each of the builds we're getting. I'm going to go from bottom to top. First off, we get Mando or, uh, Grogu's crib. Uh, the I don't even know what to call it, but that one's exciting. It's red, so it's a little, you know, Christmasified. Uh, you get Grogu with his satchel, and he comes in a beautiful, adorable-looking little Christmas sweater. You get a weapons rack. I believe this weapons rack is both for Mando's weapon as well as IG-11, who is the next figure you get in here. Um, then we're going to move to the back row. We get a scout trooper speeder. I guess a good duel is a stormtrooper one. We do get a scout trooper in here, by the way. Uh, and then we also get the little speeder that Mando uh, hopped on with Grogu and he was trying to escape Navarro. Uh, you'd even see the little astromech droid kind of resembling thing on there. Next up, you have Moff Gideon's light cruiser mini build, which is pretty exciting. Nothing too much there. Uh, we get another Slave 1, uh, which is very exciting. We get the uh, Doctor, whatever his name is, is probe droid, uh, the, the Doctor Ball. And then you also get Din Jaren in his... Christmas like thing. I called this like a year ago. I am so excited to get this version of Mando. This is our third version of Mando, which is exciting. You get the Scout Trooper. You get the Tusken Raider, which is very nice. Uh, you also get a Storm Trooper, which, you know, that's always nice. And then after that, you get the Blue Speeder, which was the speeder you see him ride in the first episode of Season 1. Then you get these two like red target pieces. I'm not 100% sure what's going on there. Um, but, you know, I guess you would shoot the stud shooter. Um, there is a, a, speaking of, a little shooter thing. There's the, the uh, Tuscan Ballista that we got earlier this year in a set. Then after that, we have the Mandalorian Havoc, like, cruiser, Imperial cruiser thing. Then you get a TIE Fighter, as per our usual arrangement. You're also getting an X-Wing. Nothing new there. Then after that, you're getting this little wall that's a, also duels as a weapon rack. I believe that is to resemble the Navarro bar. Then you are getting a little Tatooine room, like a little, I don't even know what to call that, like a little just landscape, it comes with the Tusken uh, weapon. Then you're getting an E-Web blaster turret, this is similar to the one that came in the at, -AT. Then you're getting this other ship, which looks very unfamiliar to most people. I believe this is the one that's fighting Mando in Season 1, like at the beginning of a scene. And then finally, you're getting the Razor Crest. We did get a Razor Crest last year, but you know, it's to be expected. This is a Mandalorian-themed advent calendar. Now, I will say, compared to last year's, this one is a absolute huge disappointment. Last year's was really hard to top, especially because they had that whole LEGO Star Wars special, uh, the LEGO Star Wars holiday special, and you got the Poe Dameron in his special thing, you got Vader in his special thing, you got Dio with the special hat, you got pretty much, you got Rey, like, you got most prequel characters in there, uh, and, or sequel characters in there, rather, and it was a pretty great set. I thought that was by far the best advent calendar ever. They just had fantastic figures. I loved it. Other than maybe 2014. This one, the builds are extremely disappointing. The figures are all right at best. They're all very generic. We didn't get anything really exclusive other than Mandu and Grogu. Um, you know, like in, in the past, we've gotten like the exclusive Luke Skywalkers. Like just random figures that wouldn't include otherwise. Uh, the Rogue One pilot. Um, you know, we've gotten those. Usually, I guess those are design figures that they just don't end up using. They didn't do that here, which is extremely disappointing. I really would have liked to see them do maybe the scientist, like Dr. Pershing, or the client even. They would have been great. I know LEGO does these on short notice because there is nothing from the later half of Season 2 other than Moff Gideon's Cruiser, which is already a set. And, you know, this could leave some future predictions. Usually, you guys know, I, like, base all these sets off of, like, all my predictions off of what's in an advent calendar. Because usually those are pretty good predictions. We've already seen pretty much everything that's on here, except for the pram, which, you know, isn't really a thing I'd expect. And the blue speeder and that one random ship. Um, so there's not a lot to work with here for future predictions, which, which sucks. Uh, but it will be nice to do some YouTube shorts now that those exist uh, for this whole setup, which is very exciting. And that entails all the details for the advent calendar. Now, finally, a fun piece of news that I want to talk about. So you guys know that, if you haven't been following the news, the FBI seized a Lego set of a fully constructed uh, capital set. He was, it was a whole thing in the news. I don't want to get into it too much. Um, but first of all, you know, everyone hide your Lego sets. The FBI might be coming for you. Second of all, you know, in this thing that the FBI seized. Now, everyone's talking about, like, no, oh, they stole a Lego set, like a capital building. And what I first noticed when I saw the picture of the tub, because it was later confirmed, like, that was fake news. I was later confirmed that it was not fully assembled. It was, in fact, still in the box. Um, and and what, what you can notice is that if you go into the bucket and you look at the top corner, the, the, the top corner, you will see the little imprints of the 2011 Mandalorian Fang Fighter. 
The FBI stole a Lego Star Wars The Mandalorian fighter set. Just, just let that sink in for a second. Okay, it's sunk in. Okay, none of your Legos are safe, especially if you're under the control of the United States government, or whatever. But yeah, so with that said, that was another fun-filled episode of the Republic Stud Show. I am very excited to cover the gunship. That will be out tomorrow. Just stay, check around around 9 a.m. I will be up and waiting for that to be revealed. But with that said, I will see you all in the next one. Remember to peace out, stay awesome, wake up early for that gunship.